suppose that a positive electrode material has um, theta is uh, 0 0.99 and theta 0.49 so theta indicating the the ratio of uh, the lithium concentration so the lithium concentration at zero percentage is uh, 0 0.99 and at 100 percentage is 0.49 at positive electrode and at theta k a particular value of state of charge it is 0.59 so what is the percentage of state of charge so we need to calculate what is the state of charge is at k so the formula is theta k minus theta 100 percentage all divided by theta 0 percentage plus minus theta 100 percentage plus to substitute the value of all this all these parameters you will get what is the state of charge in question number four suppose a lithium ion cell having a total capacity 10 ampere so q is 10 ampere hour with those q indicating so the number of uh, lithium ions seen ampere hours um, discharge at a rate of 2 ampere so it is discharging at a rate of 2 ampere for 30 minutes so just imagine that it's discharging at the rate of 2 ampere for 30 minutes so let's this is 30 minutes or half half an hour this is full hour so the amount of ampere hour is 1 ampere hour so this become how it come 1 ampere so when you multiply 2 into 2 ampere into what is hour half an hour so you will get 1 ampere hour um, so what is the net change in the steel um, the cell state of charge so a net change we can calculate from so the change is 1 ampere hour all divided by 10 ampere hour so we will get the net change is 0 0.1 so in terms of percentage it's a 10 percentage in question number six uh, Consider a cell having a nominal voltage of uh, 3.8 volt and a total charge capacity of 25 ampere hours. If the BMS is designed to keep the cell state of charge between 5 percentage to 95 percentage, so just imagine that this is BMS, this is your cell. You can change your the state of the battery from 95 to 5 percentage. This is allowed at limit allowed it and if the cells the present state of charge is 80 percentage so is that k is um, 80 percentage what is approximate remaining total energy in the cell in what hour so in what hour what is the amount of energy remaining now now the it is here it's 80 percentage what is the remaining charge here this is the remaining so this is the remaining that you need to calculate in terms of whatever so the formula is the energy available is we we use uh, q into v nominal into is at k so so q we know that it is uh, 25 ampere hours into V nominal is 3.8 and we calculate what is the present current Z of K so this should be Delta Z so that is uh, what is the current value Z K minus Z low Z K is 0.8 that is 80 percentage minus Z low is 5 percentage 
so when you multiply this with 0 0.075 you will get you will get 76 watt hour so this is this is the amount of energy available so this is the this is the amount of energy available So this answer is not 76, so this is answer is 71.25 whatever, not 76. So in this question you have to calculate what is the discharge resistance. So, so, so during so during the discharge process what is the resistance? So the, this is uh, sample time and the discharge current and charging current are both are same so voltage is given so so this are the time is given so let's plot here this is time this is voltage it is given 3.8 is given 3.8 after some time it's become 3.44 so 3.44 then 3.42 so then what happened then at at 3.79 from 3.79 to 4.15 4.15 from 4.15 to 4.19 4.19 so 4.19 so the question is to calculate the discharge resistance so the discharge resistance so this is 3.8 so this is 3.42 what is this difference this difference delta v so delta v is 3.8 minus 3.42 all divided by delta v divided by what is the discharge current i the discharge current so delta v by i is the resistance so discharge current is 20 ampere so this final answer is 90 milli ohm so in this question consider a cell having an open circuit voltage of 3.9 uh, at its uh, present state of charge operational voltage limit is V limit of uh, V minimum of the cell is 2.5 volt and the V max is 4.2 volt HPP resistance resistance during charging is given uh, discharging is given uh, what amount of uh, discharge power so we need to calculate the discharge power so for that discharge power um, we need to use uh, the p discharge the discharge power is equal to v minimum into so what is the discharge current so we need to calculate the discharge current so i discharge is so what is the what is that uh, voltage uh, it is operating at 3.9 and so minimum voltage is 2.5 so discharge current is 3.9 minus 2.5 divided by what is the discharge resistance so bring the resistance here 0 0.005 you will get the value value and uh, you put this value here and multiply with the v minimum you will get the total p discharge So in this question, battery is built from the four series connected cells. So number of series connected cell is four uh, lithium cell, where each cell has operation voltage limit of V minimum. So what is the cell V minimum equal to two volt and V max equal to four point one five volt? If the if the present discharge current limit of the four cell computed by HPCC approach are 75, 72 and 72 ampere what is the overall battery 
pack absolute discharge power capability in what so this is the question so find what is the absolute discharge capability and for this you need to calculate what is the minimum of all this so the minimum of uh, all this is 75 72 73 72 is 72 then you have to calculate what is the power so what is the overall battery package absolute discharge power so discharge power for that uh, you put the 72 and 4 here so 4 into 72 that is multiplied with for discharge power you have to calculate the v minimum so put v minimum here you will get the final answer so in this question consider a two cell series connected battery pack where e, where cell states of charge so let's is a one equal the state of uh, first cell and is a two is the state of second cell where the cells having total charge capacity of the q1 equal to the charge capacity of first cell is 25 ampere the charge capacity of second cell is 24 ampere if is said minimum so what is the pack the pack the minimum state is uh, 0.1 this is nothing but 10 percentage what is is low so what is uh, the lowest uh, uh, state of uh, this uh, battery pack uh, for this uh, for this one if we have to use this formula we have to use what is a available ampere hours for that uh, you have to multiply q1 and uh, z minus 1 minus z minimum and similarly q2 into z2 uh, minus z minimum from this expression you have to calculate the minimum of all these things then you will get the ampere hours so from this you can calculate is set law is set law of what is is set law of one so what is the lowest uh, state of uh, cell one the lowest state of still one is uh, that is at one minus that ampere hour divided by q1 so what is the lowest of uh, cell two that is state of cell two minus the ampere hour of the pack so which is a minimum of uh, this uh, the q into z1 minus divided by q2 so from this uh, is set low one and is set low two uh, we can find the maximum of uh, is set low one and is set low two is the is set low of the pack so in this concern consider two cell series connected battery pack where cell state of charger is at 1.5 to is at 2.49 if you see this one it is same as that of the previous questions so from this uh, question we already find the value of is at low so we know what is the is at low of the battery pack and uh, the same question is repeated here but the question is different um, and the cell can be considered to have a constant OCB of 3.7 what is the total battery discharge energy for this pack in watt hour so we need to find what is uh, the what is the total battery discharge energy for this pack so for the discharge energy for this pack we have to use a formula this one Q then we have to integrate the state of uh, open circuit so open circuit voltage into that's a function of theta into d theta so you know, we can uh, this is uh, the continuous fraction um, but uh, we can uh, we can um, we can express the same thing in a very different way so q into this open circuit voltage is specified here this is a considered to be constant so ocv Q into OCV into what is um, is set so D is at this it is uh, is a state of law and uh, is at one so this one is at one minus is at law we already calculate uh, the law low, lowest state of uh, the pack from the uh, previous example exercise and now the same thing is substitute here plus this is the energy of uh, cell one 
and similarly for cell 2 q2 into what is 